I can hide. Hollywood's out of scuffs of columnists. I may be left-handed, but I'm always right. Yeah. Oh. Boom, there we go. Next up. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jack Diamond. I'm a local Hollywood talent agent here in town. If you haven't become famous in Hollywood, it's probably because you don't know Jack. Oh, oh that's me. There it is, there it is. Who's next? I'm Betty Shambles, reminding all of you handsome single men out there that beauty is only a light switch away. <laughs> uh, Betty, is, is that light switch on or off? It's on a dimmer. Fair enough. Fair enough. Who's next? Hello, Hollywood. It's me, Evie Starlight. I'm not the brightest star in Hollywood, but I sure know how to sparkle. Ooh. Hello. And finally, who do we have? Well, howdy Hollywood, it's me, big time cowboy movie star, Bo Wrangler. I want everybody out there to see my brand new movie. It's called The Hotel. Mm. And everyone is saying The Hotel is the best Western. So, wow, there they are, the funniest people that I know. I don't know many people, but here they are. And today they're gonna compete telling jokes, but I have decided we're not telling the knock-knock jokes. No, 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 no. That's so 1946, so last year. We are not telling the chicken across the road joke. I got one. I don't, don't tell. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Too hard to explain. We're also not going to tell the your mama jokes. Because my mama did not like those jokes. She did not appreciate it. So I decided to try something new, something revolutionary. Today, we're going to tell jokes in the form of 99. No, no. Okay, we're not telling 99 jokes. No, it's in the form. It's a formula for jokes. I'll explain. All right, here's what it is. You take 99 of an object. Let's say trash can right here. A trash can. 99 trash cans. Walk into the bar. The bartender says, no, we do not serve trash cans in here. Get out. And the trash cans begin to cry. And the bartender says, now why are you crying? And the trash cans say, we were just dumped. Oh. Right? You see, it's, I didn't say they were good jokes. Now here's the deal. I need you all to help me to eliminate these people. I need to know if their jokes are funny. How will I know? By your laughter, your applause, your reaction. If you hear this sound, that means a joke was just told. I need you to clap, yell, and scream, all right? So let's try that right now with a little rehearsal. Funny joke. Woo! Funnier joke. Woo! The funniest joke you have ever heard. Woo! I think we're ready. Are you ready? We're about to find out. I'm gonna go to this guy over here. Hello, guy. I almost didn't see you with the camouflage. What is your name? James. James, where are you from, James? Connecticut. James is from Connecticut. Everyone say hi to James. Hi, James. Hi, James. James, what do you do out there in Connecticut? I'm a mailman. A mailman? Oh. Wow, all right, as a mailman, what is something you use every day in your line of work? My hand. An object. Hand is an object. It is, I get. You, you like hand? It's a strange object. What else do you use? What's something you use that you couldn't do your job without? Truck. A truck! Even better. A truck. But not a hand truck. It's a different thing. All right, so that's your object, citizens. You must tell a joke about a truck in the form of 99. And we'll start with Bo Wrangler. Bo! Yes, you. Um, 99 um, mail trucks go in the bar, and the bartender says, I'm not serving you mail trucks in here. And they said, relax, we're actually the entertainment. We're the, we're the stand-up comics. We got great delivery. Oh, whoa. Nice. Good start, good start. You get it now? Yes, Evie, the lovely Evie Starlight. Hello, darling. Tell us a joke. Okay. 99 trucks walked into a bar, and the bartender said, hey, you trucks. There it is. There it is. All right. They like that one a little better. Betty, go right ahead. Um, 99 male trucks or female trucks. Thank uh, you for clarifying. Yeah. You walk into a bar and the bartender said, we will not serve you trucks in here now. Get out. And the truck said, come on, you got to serve us. I mean, we're trucks. We're here. We're going to spend our money. You got to serve us. That's not fair. And the bartender said, that is exactly why I won't serve you. You trucks exhaust me. Ooh, that was a thinker. They liked it. All right, Jack. 99 hand trucks. <laughs> well, I, I, I just... I said not. What? I said not hand trucks. 
And the bartender said, we don't serve you hand trucks in here. And they said, stop pushing us around. Oh, yeah. That is technically a joke. But yeah. Just get back in the line. Just get back in the line. All right, all right. 99 trucks walked into a bar. And the bartender said, we don't serve trucks in here. And the trucks say, why is it? Because we have gas. Oh. Now that is a, that's a great, give it up for all of them. That was a great round. Woo. That is tough to do. It's tough to make up jokes on the spot, especially if you're not listening. Jack Diamond, looking at you. Microphone's leaning. <laughs> Just let it lean. All right, you know what? That was. We're going to let this go. We're going to let them all stay in this round. We're going to call that the practice round. Because I think there are better jokes to come from you. I want the best. Only the best. But from here on out, there is elimination on the line. That's right. No one is safe. Whoever tells the worst joke will leave. Or whoever doesn't listen, to what the joke is about, Jack Diamond will leave. All right, let's get another object. Let's get another object. We'll go over here. Hello. Hi, what is your name? Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Where are you from? Atlanta, Georgia. Nancy is from Atlanta, the lost city of Atlanta, under the waves with the merfolk. I've read all about it. Yes. Now, it's your honeymoon? To this guy you got married? Oh, on the dream. They were on a cruise, how beautiful is that? Now, what is something you would take on a cruise to make your stay much more exciting? Beer. Yeah. Beer? You take the beer, because they don't have any on a cruise. <laughs> what else? What else is something you packed? An object? Swimsuit. All right. Swimsuit. She needs a swimsuit, or else she's not staying on that cruise for very long. Tell me a joke about swimsuits, starting with you, Chloe. Me? Yes. Go get it, Miss Chloe. Ninety-nine swimsuits walked into a bar, and the bartender says we don't serve swimsuits in here, but we think you're really cute. But you're gonna have to get out. And the swimsuit said, "Well, there ain't nothing song with that." <laughs> I'm not sure we could say that on the radio. But you did it already. All right, Jack. I hope you were listening. Tell us a joke. <laughs> Daddy's 99 swimsuits. They walk into this here bar. Why? I'm not quite sure I know. And the bartender said, I'm sorry. We don't serve you swimsuits in here. They said, oh, we're not here to drink. We're, we're part of the band. We're a two-piece. Oh! Whoa! All right. They like that one. Betty. Tell us a joke about a swimsuit. in the line. All right, Evie, the lovely Evie Starlight. Oh, there she is. Beautiful to look at. Tell us a joke. 99 swimsuits walk into a bar and the bartender said, hey, you swimsuits, I'm not serving you in here. The swimsuit said, well, we're not really here to drink. We're just here to play some pool. There it is. All right, Bo. All right. Um, so 99 swimsuits go in the bar. It's a new year. The bartender says, wow, you swimsuits look good. Have you lost weight? And they said, yes, we have. And he says, well, what, what do you like to eat? And they say, we'll have a, a pretzel and cheese sauce, please. And he says, how about just the pretzel, no cheese sauce? And they say, why is that? And he says, you won't stay skinny dipping. <laughs> That was a tough round. That was a tough round, but we have to make some selections here for this game to go on. I so, the cheese <laughs> Betty, step forward. Did I win? No. And Chloe, step oh. forward. One of you two told the joke that's going to send you home, but I'm not sure. So, we're going to give you a fighting chance. I'm going to go to this lady right here. Hello, lady. What is your name? Sandra. Everyone say hi to Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Sandra, where are you from? 
Galesburg, Illinois. Oh, very nice. What do you do? What do you do out there in Illinois? I'm a grants compliance officer. I don't know any word you just said. That was just a lot. What, what do you use in your line of work? A computer. There we go. A computer. This is tough because it's 1947. They haven't been invented yet, but you're going to have to make computer funny. The best computer joke will stay. The worst will leave. Who should start? Who should start? Who should start, little girl? Who should start? Betty or Chloe? Betty. Betty! The little girl wants you to start. <laughs> Tell us a joke about the computer. 99 computers walk into a bar and the bartender said, we will not serve you computers in here. Now get out. And the computer said, come on, we've had such a hard drive. Uh -huh. Chloe, the bar has been set. Can you beat it? 99 computers walked into a bar and the bartender says, we don't serve computers in here. And the computer said, we didn't come in to drink, we just came to pee, see? Oh! <laughs> that was a good one. You like that one? That was a tough one. I think we found the level of the crowd. Unfortunately, that means, Betty, you are out. I'm so sorry, Betty. I'm so sorry. But tell us a goodbye joke before you leave, Betty. Tell us a goodbye joke. Don't, don't leave so sad. I'm really not in the mood to tell a funny joke. Oh, are you oh, gonna Oh, Betty, say? don't be like that. Just tell us a joke. Did you hear about the chameleon who couldn't change colors? I did not. He had a reptile dysfunction. Oh. Oh. You may leave, Betty. Just, just go. <laughs> just, just, just go. Just go. Wow. Well, now there were four. Now there were four. I'm going to need a better object. We really have to get them. I'm going to go back in. Look at you. I wish I had my camera. I could have gotten an aerial shot. Oh, look at you. What is your name? Ariel. No. Your name is Ariel. You are dressed as Ariel. This is Maybe it's Ariel. It, are you really Ariel? And that's why she's wearing the sunglasses. She doesn't want to be recognized, but you were. I just ruined the whole thing, didn't I? Well, thank you for being part of our world. Now, Ariel, Ariel, tell me an object that begins with the letter A, like Ariel. Apple. What? Apple! Ariel likes apples. How apropos. But now you must tell jokes about apples, beginning with Jack Diamond, who looks like he's tuning me out. Is he talking still? Oh, there these 99 apples. They walk into this here bar. Why? I'm not quite sure. And the bartender said, I'm sorry, we don't serve you apples in here. And they said, ow, that hurts us to the core. Oh, yeah. Woo. Decent reaction. Good start. Let's go with that. Uh, Evie. Oh, okay. 99 apples walk into a bar. And they're like, yes, drink. And the bartender said, oh, no, apples are not serving you in here. And the apples are oh, yeah. The bartender said, you're clearly already sauced. Based on true events. Go, oh, did I say you could go? Oh, brother. Now you go last. Oh, now you go last. Oh. Chloe, go ahead. You have to listen. You have to listen. 99 apples walked into a bar and the bartender says, we don't serve apples in here. And the apple said, we didn't come to drink. We're looking for our Granny Smith. <laughs> nice. All right, Bo. Now you may Thank tell you. your story. Thank you, sir. Thank um, you. 99 apples going to the bar. And the bartender looks at him and says, why are you apples dress up so nicely for my bar? And they said, oh, this is a bar. We thought it was a gala. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you like those jokes? Yes. Do you think they can do better? Yeah. I do too. Round two, apple jokes, go! That's right. I know. There are more apple jokes to tell. Yes, if you have another joke. Not enough apples walking to a bar and the bartender says, we don't serve apples in here, but I am going to serve all of you. And the apples say, why? And the bartender says, because we find you very appealing. All right, Chloe, you're safe. Hey, where does this anger stem from? Oh! All right, Jack. 
don't have to have a joke about apples or you're going home. Here are these 99 apples. They walk into this bar again. They have a problem. And the bartender said, I'm sorry. We don't serve you apples in here. They said, why not? We got the green. Ah. All right. I thought I'd throw you a curveball, but you all did swimming. But let's find out who will go and who will stay. I want you to cheer for the one that you want to stay in this competition. Do you want Bo Wrangler? Yeah. All right, all right. Do you want Evie Starlight? Yeah. A little better, a little better. Do you want Jack Diamond? Yeah. Do you want Chloe Cano? Yeah. Chloe, step forward. Bo, step forward. Come on, bro. One more time for Bo Wrangler. Yeah. One more time. For Chloe Cannot! Bo Wrangler, I'm so sorry, but it, your journey has ended. Oh, Tell us a goodbye joke. Uh, so, um, I thought it would be fun to be a uh, fighter at the Roman Coliseum. Did you? Yeah, that was until I saw. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> that was until I saw one of the uh, female prisoners being eaten by a lion. And then I decided. I'm not gladiator. <laughs> yeah, we made the right choice, ladies and gentlemen. Bo Wrangler. Bo Wrangler. And then there were three. One of these three will be your funniest citizen of Hollywood, and I must find an object, and I'm going to this guy holding up this palm tree. Thank you for your service. We do appreciate it. What, what is your name, sir? My name is Mark. Mark! Mark, where are you from? I am from Houston. Mark is from Houston, Texas. Welcome to America. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, Mark. What do you do out there in Houston? I'm a musician. Musician? What do you play? Play guitar. Guitar! I love that, the guitar player. Everyone must love him because they love the guitar player. They hate the writer, but they love the guitar player. That is your object for Mark. Guitar. You must tell jokes about the guitar. But here's the deal. I had you do two jokes about apples. Yeah. It was not enough. I want more. So I want you to keep telling jokes about guitars until there are no more jokes to tell or your joke is not funny. No. The one who doesn't have a joke or is not funny will be out of this competition. Oh, I love when they cringe. Yes, guitar. And we're going to, it's gonna be a speed round as well. So you have to go fast or you're out. All of this is true. Do you think they can do it? Wow, they believe in you, I do not. Let's find out who's right, starting with Chloe Kennard. I'm 99 guitars walk into a bar and the bartender says, we don't serve guitars in here. Well, maybe we will. No, we're not gonna today. Maybe we will tomorrow. And the guitars say, hey, stop stringing us along. Boom, there you go, Jack. 99 guitars walk into a bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve you guitars in here. They said, oh, it's all right. We're not gonna fret. Fret, very nice. Oh, oh, oh. They do have that. Better. 99 guitars. 
to win. What is your name? Trish. Hi, Trish. How are you, Trish? Where are you from? London, England. From London, England. Welcome, welcome. Now, what is something you brought with you from London that you cannot get here that you need to have? Anything at all? <laughs> You're an object, sir, in case you didn't know. I understand. It happens. No, something you brought, like an object with you that you need to survive. Anything at all you have in your bag, you need it. My watch. Your watch! She needs a watch. A lady needs a watch or she will always be late. Or she will still be late. It doesn't matter. Okay, so watch is the final object. You do not speak until you are spoken to, Chloe. So just for that, just for that, I'm going to this guy over here. Guy, what's your name? Dave. Dave. Hi, Dave. Where are you from? Rochester, New York. Dave from Rochester. What is something Rochester is known for? Snow. 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 So we have a watch from the England and the snow from the Rochester. Why do we have two objects, you may ask? Because I want you, let me speak, Chloe, stop it! We had two I... objects earlier with hand and truck. Stop it, Jack! You're ruining this for me, no! Watch and snow because you have two objects because I want you to tell one joke, two punchlines. Oh, I know I'm a monster. I'd rather be feared than loved. So here's what's gonna happen. You will tell one joke, two punchlines. It could be Snow Watch, Watch Snow, I don't care. But it must make sense, and it must uh, be funny. All right, who should go first? Who goes first? Who goes? Should Evie go first? Or should Chloe go first? Chloe, go first. Watch snows walk into yeah. a bar, like they do. And the bartender said, we don't serve watch snows in here, now get out. And the watch snow said, we're not leaving, we're staying, we're not going anywhere. And the bartender said, you better save face. That's one. Oh, they didn't like they it. They didn't like it. Didn't you better redeem yourself with the second half. That was a chilly reception. Oh! 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 Was it enough? Yeah. I don't know. Let's find out. Evie! You're up. <laughs> 99 oh, watch snows! <laughs> you lower it down a little bit, would you? Yes. 99 <laughs> watch snows! What? <laughs> Thank goodness we're on the radio. That's I what I said. I fell for that every time. It happens, ladies and gentlemen, it does happen. 